Hello folks, time for another video and the shave but a reveal and it's during a big storm. I don't know if you can hear it out there now but it's coming down, it's daytime but it looks like nighttime outside. Anyway, so if you looked on my thumbnail, I have an addition to my shave den. Well if you know that I really like the Mula Roca with the birch bark handle right there love this razor love that birch bark handle now they make a matching brush they do and this is probably going to be my thumbnail right there magic there is the mula logo I don't know if my camera will pick that up. And of course, the air conditioning came on too. Also, let's see if the camera could pick up that right there. This is the Mula Roca brush with the matching birch bark handle. Oh, that's nice, right? I oh, haven't seen it yet. I'm sure it's going to have a couple of loose hairs. Ooh, that rain is coming down. But there's the brush. And I kind of broke it in when it came in. Not broke it in, but I lathered it up a few times to kind of get that badger sent off. It is a silver tip badger that's in this brush. that They do also offer it in a in a uh, synthetic. I got the silver tip badger. And that's nice. I think it's a 21 millimeter, I believe. And there's the mula. Wow, it's really coming down. I'm sorry about that if it's really disrupting my audio, but why not, right? So there it is, the new addition to the den. All right, so I'll be back in a second after I kind of lather up my lather. If you want to know what's going to be in today's shave, it's fine. Italian citrus is going to be the soap today. Fine Italian citrus. And, of course, I'll be using the Mula Roca razor with the birch bark handle. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And there is a Persona stainless in there the persona red blade in there today alrighty so let me get this lathered up because I don't want to bore you with all that so I'll be back in a couple minutes or it'll only be a second okay folks I'm back this rain is crazy I actually accidentally dropped my ball into the sink of water so my lather got all goopy but it's looking nice with this Mula Roca brush, so nice. Anyway, I hope you can hear me because it's very, very rainy outside and got my floral wet too, sorry. Ah, oh, so hot in here too. The rain is coming down, sorry, but it's gonna be a noisy shave. All right, so let's wet the face. Besides the Mula Roca brush, we are also using the Mula Roca razor with the matching birch bark handle. And we're using Fines Italian Citrus, which is an awesome Aqua de Parma scent. Alrighty, so let's go with that brandy new. Mula Roca brush. I was actually shocked of the size of the brush. I thought from the pictures, I always thought it would be a little bit larger, as you can tell from my hand. I mean, it's okay size. It kind of reminds me of uh, the C Moog 830 I have, but it's hefty. It's got some weight because it is stainless steel, and there is a 21 millimeter silver tip badger in here which is perfect for the captain's choice ball 
that I'm using to lather it, my sandstorm bowl, which I dropped in the sink. So it is looking gross and slippery. So I dropped it in the sink, but it is perfect size. It's a good knot. I lathered it twice when I first took it out of the package just to get that badger funk scent off. It didn't smell too bad, but it did have a little bit of that, you know, wet dog kind of scent. Very soft. It's got good weight to it. And with that birch bark, it's very grippy. When all this hit the sink before, it got off all lather, but that birch bark definitely uh, still stayed nice and tacky. Mmm, that's nice. Nice brush. Like I said, there's a 21 millimeter silver tip badger in here. You can get it. Also in a synthetic. 21 millimeter synthetic. I just felt like going with the silver tip badger. Mmm, I hear some thunder. Nice. Yeah, I was hoping the storm was going to hold off a little bit before my shave, but I figured, you know what? Want to get a shave? Mula Roca. Birch bark handle. And there is a Persona stainless in here, which is the Persona Reds. The new Persona Reds. I'm also trying to stay on my shaves every few days so I don't have to mow a whole forest of whiskers off. Yeah, it's really coming down. At first I thought it was going to pass us right by, but... really enjoy this razor even though I've been doing a lot of single edge razor shaving lately with the twig by leaf and also with the razor rack eco I really enjoy the mula the mula roca I wanted this razor for so many years the first time I think I ever saw this razor being used in use was I think heavy Kevy Shaves was using it. And I always wanted it. Nice. Good stuff right there. Boy, I got my counter soaking wet when I accidentally dropped my bowl into the sink. It's a ceramic bowl, so it made a big old plop when it hit the sink, that's for sure. It's a great soap. The fine Italian citrus. I love the scent because it is one of my favorite scents in the shaving world, being that Aqua de Parma, the original Aqua de Parma, which is that nice Italian citrus scent. That's why Fine calls it Italian citrus. All right, that's great. Back to the good old, or the brand new, in my den anyhow, Mula Roca, birch bark handle brush. Oh, that thunder. Be a bummer if we lost power. 
I'll be filming in the dark because all my gear is battery operated, so. I think the grandkid just ran over from next door. <laughs> Very soft. And this, like I said, I just opened it not too long ago. I did lather a few times with it just to kind of get that slight funk smell that was in it. Didn't really smell bad. It was just had that little bit of badger smell. Which if you have any badger or boar brushes, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they come a little bit of that little wet dog stink or wet animal yeah I kind of been neglecting my Mula Roca razor a little bit because I've been shaving a lot with the uh, single edge razors Hope you're enjoying that pitter pat of the rain on my skylight. It's very loud in this bathroom because the skylight is made from some kind of plastic, where my rest of my skylights in my house are made from glass. So this one's pretty loud. Let's see how that's going to do so far. Oh, that's pretty good. Feeling good on this rainy night. Leaning into Memorial Day weekend here. I will probably post this tonight, Friday night. It'll be later, but I'll probably get this up on the YouTube. -y. That feels good. Feels like I only have a little tiny bit. Little tiny bit. On the jawline as usual. One thing I did notice is once I lathered up this new brush, she sure bloomed out nicely. It was kind of tight and wrapped tightly when I took it out of the little container it came in. But as soon as I got it wet and lathered it, it became nice. Yes, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna empty good old sea monster the sink. Probably going to sound funky because it's raining outside. Wipe down the counter. It still has the lather all over from when I dropped the ball. Going to do a quick little cold water rinse. towel to the water mop up needs wow yeah rain still coming down hard I'm actually gonna rinse off that brush real quickly just so you can take a quick look at it again just kind of 
sure everything else here is kind of dry a little bit. So that was the Mula Roca Birch Bar Camel Brush. We'll just do a quick rinse of it. Of course, I'm going to clean it nicely and rinse it out nicely after the shave. Because it is a badger. If it was a synthetic, it would just be like a quick little rinsey dinse and be done. But since this is a badger, I want to make sure I get it. Definitely cleaned out. Ooh, just got that in the face. So that was the Mula Roca brush. How nice that bloomed out. I know there's probably going to be some hairs popping out here and there. But look at that. Kind of hefty. And the Mula logo. Catch that is right there. See if I can maybe get it. Woo! Very nice brush. Now I have a matching brush for my razor. Right there. How cool is that? Perfect match. Awesome deal. Ah, so good. Okay, so real quick. I have a home for this, by the way. So nice. All right, so let's put on some good old fine Italian citrus aftershave, which everything became slicker than slick now since I dropped that bowl in the water. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's what I call beautiful. I hope the rain didn't annoy too many folk out there. I know when there's background noise, everybody kind of gets a little freaky because sometimes you're on headphones. So that was the fine, by the way. Italian citrus after shape splash. So let me just grab a quick beverage. Ah, <clears throat> if you enjoyed today's Mula Roca brush shave, give me the old thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Please subscribe. We are climbing slowly, but be. And uh, stay safe out there. If I don't do a shave before Memorial Day, have a great Memorial Day weekend. And stay safe. And until next shave, Glenn signing off.